when I immigrated and moved to Denver, I knew that I ultimately wanted to live on the beach. And obviously there's no beach in Denver. But one of the goals that I had was to build or buy a house on the beach. And I would visualize the palm trees and the surf and the sand. And 20 years later, I did that. I built this incredible $8 million, 10,000 square foot mansion on the beach. A beach on one side, and I had my boat lifts on the backside. It was called a Gulf to Bay, where it was just like a slice through an island, which honestly was unthinkable when I was 18. But I manifested, I made it happen. And you can too, whatever. There's nothing you cannot do, be, or have. Just remember that, guys. Okay. But anyway, so I built this house and it took me 20 years to make this happen. Two months after I moved in. So 20 years, two months. Two months after I moved in, I'm floating in the pool at night and I'm looking up at this testament to my ego, which is really what it was. It was to prove the world I was good enough. You know, it's embarrassing to admit that, but that's the truth of it. And I mean, the, this house is magnificent. Let me just describe it. I had a giant waterfall from the second floor balcony into the pool. You had to walk through the waterfall to get in the pools and magazines. Giant spiral staircase up through the middle of the house. Wine cellar, elevator. On the second floor, I'll stop at this, but on the second floor, I had aquariums built around the spiral staircase that cost me almost 200 grand. So this gives you an uh -huh. idea of the house. So I'm looking up at this testament to my ego. The pool's changing colors. It's got fiber optic lighting and I'm looking up. My family's inside sleeping. I had all the toys and stuff. I had the Mercedes and the Maserati and the boats and the jet skis and, and I got depressed. And I don't mean a little depressed. I mean, I got really depressed, I just floating in the pool. And then it, it stayed with me. And I'm like, what the hell? 